I'm now joined by Enrique Flamini. Welcome. Tell me about the recent findings of liquid water on Mars. Yeah, this is a finding that took to my team, to all the team, quite a lot of time. Because it's like, you know, the holy grail of any Martian guy, find the water. Water means a lot of stuff, means uh, possibly also life. And so this was the real intriguing part. When I speak, when I say water, and meaning liquid water, because the, that on Mars, water as ice was present, was known since a quite a long time. The discovery was that we found the lake is buried under something 1,400 meters in the depth of Mars and is uh, more or less of the size of 20 kilometers yeah. across. We don't know exactly which is the depth because it's impossible to know with the present instrumentation. What makes this find so intriguing right now? It's intriguing because it's the first time ever that liquid Mars has been found permanently on, on Mars. Some kind of, you know, passing by liquid water was, has been observed, or the sign of it has been observed, but never a permanent body. And uh, this also has an implication of history on Mars, of course, and on the possibility that this water is uh, a pristine water that belongs to the time when Mars was still having ocean lakes on surface. So it could, in principle, maintain as in the Antarctica case, some organisms that were present on Mars in, in the beginning of his history. Tell me about the technology that was used for this discovery and the nature of the water that was discovered. The technology is a, a radar, but a very special kind of radar, very low frequency radar, was an idea of a professor at University of Rome, Professor Picardi, but uh, uh, that was based on some previous experiences uh, done even in Antarctica as well, because this was the first test bed, real test bed on the Earth, but evolved and specialized to work on Mars. And uh, also was a cooperation with the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena and the University of Iowa. So, well, is uh, Marsis, that is the name of the instrument, is uh, an instrument thought and designed in Italy, but with the cooperation, international cooperation. And this is capable to go to a depth up to 4,500 meters. So even more and more in the depth of Mars. And we did it, by the way. You're going to be giving a talk here. Tell us what people can look forward to in your presentation. Well, what at the end I hope to communicate properly is that it's not easy, that uh, a, a good instrument is needed and a precise knowledge of how the instrument actually works when you are on another planet and also that Mars is uh, still a planet where water can exist and uh, in my view I'm an old Martian I was working also with the Viking missions um, is uh, the best place in our solar system where to have a long permanent human base. Enrico, thank you so much for joining us, telling us the exciting things that are happening in this discovery, and we look forward to hearing your talk. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much.